pretty sure that I am the reason that the economy is stagnating, so I'm going to do some shop. Can't talk today. I'm going to do some shopping soon. But, uh, just figured that I'd flash how rich I was right quick. But, uh, also, Jewel is cool, and I have gotten together in a business venture partnership where, uh, basically all of our work goes to, uh, well, involving villager trading. All of our, uh, golden carrots go to my snack shop, and we split the profits 50-50. So, uh, this is just me getting golden carrots right now. Oh, my God. Okay, people. Look at this craziness that's happening right now. Piglins all over the server. But they don't stand a chance against this bad boy. And I think I heard some more in Mad Chook's department store. So we're going to do everybody a favor and gank them. You know, help with that server lag. There were a whole bunch of them by my base, though. And I think I was recording during that, too. So you'll be able to see that. There must have been, like, at least 20. Mmm, there's one. Die, you stupid piglin child. Ugh. Also, great thing about uh, Smite 5 is that uh, since it insta-kills undead mobs, zombified piglins don't register that uh, something else has been killed around them because it doesn't take damage, it just instantly dies. So, pretty dope. And what is this? Oh, Toby's mod client doesn't have Optifine. But look at this BS! Somebody stole the copper off of my roof. What? I can't get any respect on this server, I swear to God. These people are going to hurt my feelings. But do I have any sales? Um, no. Oh yeah, Toby's in a Discord call with me right now. He said that he would be quiet, but he's listening to everything that I'm saying right now. And what do you mean Optifine sucks? Go ahead, go ahead, talk. Why does it suck? Okay, open, open source, proprietary. Doesn't matter, I want to press C and I want to zoom in on the grass blocks that somebody replaced with my copper blocks. Who did that? Was it you? Was it you? Was it... Well, I am going to murder his ass. Also, this is a little bit of a distraction, but I've been building Etho Hopper Clocks since before I knew what Etho Hopper Clocks were. Can I just say that I'm a redstone genius? What do I even put in there? Netherrack? Is that it? I guess I could just take that out. Yeah. But yeah, basically I'm smart. You might be asking yourself, what are you going to do this episode? Well, I've decided that I need to finish all the projects that I have that have uh, not been done yet. So, um, here we go. I gotta psych myself up for this one. thought I was going to do that one. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> no, that one's never getting done. Um, actually, just kidding. It'll probably get done soon. Ish. Uh, when I work up the motivation to get it done, I'll do it.
Okay, guys, so the voice that you're hearing right now is a voiceover because I forgot to turn my microphone on while I was recording this clip. Basically, right now, I am showing you that the interior for the, the church is basically done. Well, not the interior, but uh, the exterior. All I have to do is build the tower on top. And uh, I didn't log out. That was just the server being weird. If you look, if you zoom back and look at my FPS, it was like at 8. And uh, that is miserable. I don't want to play like that. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my creative world, and I'm going to show you what the church is supposed to look like when it gets done. Okay, so as you can see, the church is done right here, and it looks a whole lot cooler than it does in the survival version. I mean, there's a whole lot more detail, maybe not texturing on uh, the roof, but there's texturing on the little, little uh, I don't know what you would call those, just supports on the outside, as you can see, but there's a smooth basalt along with the cobble deep slate. And I think that looks pretty good, but um, it's just a lot harder to build in survival. I mean, the addition of scaffolding helps a lot, but it can only do so much, especially when I could just float and creative like this. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, the tower is not built in the survival version, but uh, I think it adds a lot to the church. Um, I added the amethyst because I like the way it noise the I like the way that it sounds when I walk across it. And then um, usually for the pews in the church, they're always red, and uh, red nether brick would have been closer to that, but I didn't think that that looked very good because I don't like red nether brick. Um, the lights in here are dim, but uh, it keeps it moody, and mob spawns are safe because, you know, there's uh, nothing in there that has just one, uh, one level of light. So basically up in here, I'll add a bell, but in reality, the bell will be right there, and then maybe I'll add, like, a switch connecting it with redstone, so if somebody wants to go in there and then flick the bell, it'll make a noise and everybody can hear it. Um, thank God for the addition of lectern blocks because they make decorating a whole lot easier. That's the pulpit. And, uh, this is a, a table of Christ right here. Um, I don't know what that is. But, uh, I made sure that the candles were basically, like, uh, reflecting the way that the windows looked. See, the, the red, the, the yellow, and the orange. Uh, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. But, um, this is the table of Christ. It's where people will come when they want to take communion. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the church. And I did tease you guys earlier about uh, making progress on my mega base. So I don't think it would be fair to just tease you like that and not show you that I'm actually making progress on it. This is uh, what it looks like. I think it's a fairly atmospheric build, and uh, I like the way it looks. But um, I think I'm going to have to call it there because Minecraft is acting up right now and I need to download Optifine or Sodium or something that helps with my frame rates because 35 on my single player server versus 9 on the multiplayer server is not cutting it. I need better uh, mods. So I guess we'll call it there today. Uh, Java Juice out. See you guys later.